We're discussing will the breakdown be the most important facet of play during the 2007 World Cup? The obvious place to start with our uh, resident loose forward, Zinzan. Um, we've certainly learnt of how to be a little bit better at uh, than, than England because I feel that the, the, the England side... Yeah, you're right. You're under, absolutely right. Uh, we've, we've, gone away, we've gone away in the UK yes. from competing at breakdowns because I play at a club where we get vilified Oh, less to do this at a breakdown, you slow the ball down. Yeah, too right we do, because that's the game, you know. You have to compete at breakdowns. There's been a lot of talk about uh, Richard McCaw, that he's, uh, he's got a rule for Richard McCaw and a rule book for, for everyone else. But uh, I think, in Richie McCaw's defence, is that I, don't, I think he's in a class of his own. And that oh, he's and fantastic, that, but it's not his position. fault. But the main problem is, from my point of view, is there's got to be consistency. Our referees in the UK and England have got to referee the same way as, as they do in, in New Zealand. Let's be honest, in the last World Cup final, I'm playing for England and we're going, what the hell's that penalty for? Right? We can't have that. We've all got to know. You collapsing the scrums, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Is first phase more important than second phase? I mean, how, how do you rank them? I think one of the keys of it is how can you put pressure on the opposition? Turnovers in a game are just crucial. And you think, one of the things Bob Dwyer used to always hammer into us is if everyone in the team could cause one turnover in the game, that's 15 turnovers. That's one turnover every four minutes. And you start looking at it in this perspective, and that puts enormous pressure on the opposition. And one of the key spots where you can turn over is the breakdown. I, I really got upset a bit in the autumn because <laughs> you're just going, we're letting these teams walk all over us at breakdown. Because the guys like yourself, Lawrence Delelio, Neil Beck and Richard Hill, especially Becky and Delelio and, and yourself, probably the masters that, uh, that's doing that slow roll-off. Or <laughs> <laughs> so you, you probably start. You started this. When you came, you started, when you came to England, you sowed the seeds of this, and now we're reaping it. Is it therefore going to be the most important facet, the breakdown? Yes or no? Yes. For the way we want to play the game, yes, it is. And you are the masters of it at the moment. What about for Australia? Can they play that type of game? Look, we can compete at the breakdown. You know, George Smith, mm. Phil War. Yeah. Yeah, we've got the guys. And finally, Joel, Philippe. Do you agree? I, I do agree. You know, we've got Skulk Berger, a little unconventional, but he does he does contest quite well and cause havoc around the breakdown. But if you don't get quick ball, you're not going to win the World Cup. Uh, what about for France? Can they play uh, that sort uh, of game? Uh, as well? And uh, we have a Serge uh, Betsen, uh, he's, uh, he's a good yes. player to, to play around as well. But Is he too old though now? No, 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 but he's not too, too old. <laughs> You will see. <laughs> <laughs> All in agreement then, the breakdown is the most important facet of play in the 2007 World Cup.